Hi there, everybody. It's the Joe Nerd coming to you once again from the Sheraton Airport Hotel in Toronto, Ontario, here with a, a quick uh, little overview of the entirety of the Canadian Joe Con, Canadian Joe Con exclusive set of this year, of 2012. And for something very different and unique, I've got my best buddy here, the Madman, with me to... And he graciously, this is actually the Madman set, um, and we are going to do a quick little overview of what the whole thing is. So I think, uh, Madman, first you're going to show us uh, what it, uh, besides the toys itself, yeah. the, what else it includes. Well, there's a lot of goodies um, here. We got the uh, blueprint pretty much for the uh, Hate Scout, and we'll just throw that on the side here. And it's really, really well done too. You got to hand it to the... Uh, to yep. the guys here. Stickers with the 416 and I guess the little uh, Canadian uh, Maple Leaf Cobra sign. Yeah, yes. And there's even a nice little uh, little art here telling you where some of the stickers may go. Yeah, and actually, yeah, uh, stickers for two of the figures themselves, which is really, really a unique touch. Yeah. Uh, we got some. <laughs> you even going to show this? Yeah. yeah. Jason Liu, Mark Balamo, and Robert Atkins. And speaking of Robert Atkins. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's the card art, and maybe you can zoom what out. What I'm going to do is just do this. We're zoomed out as much as possible. So I'm going to show, yeah, that yeah. is a damn nice comic cover. Very beautiful. Oh, and the artwork inside just is beautiful. I, I find um, uh, Jason Liu's artwork has gotten even better. Like, he, he is really getting damn good. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he's always been great, and uh, as the years go by, it uh, gets better and better. And he's a damn nice guy, by the way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most Joe fans uh, that had the opportunity to meet him uh, already know that. Um, and next on, I guess we got some of the uh, file cards. I'm just yeah. going to go quickly over them. We don't yeah. want to spend too much on them, but, you know, give them a little bit of respect. Yeah. Yeah, this, these were actually having to be written by the Canadian Jocon staff, too, you know. A lot of work goes into these. All right, so uh, that sort of comes. I guess that's what those sort of are the up, yeah. extras there. Exactly. So now, which figure would you like to start with, there, Madman? Well, let's leave it up to you. Well, let's start here. Let's start with uh, this one right here. Okay. So we've got the. Uh, is it the Hagar? Hey, is it? Correct. Does it? Uh, yeah. Does it say what the acronym stands for? Or is it an acronym? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cobra North Guided Robot. Oh, okay, but that's probably not... Sorry no, there, the guys. Heavy it's the Heavy Armament really... Guided Attack Robot. Okay, there yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, we got Madman here. So... No, we'll just give a quick look at the... Yeah, um, spin around. Here. You know, an amusing thing about it that we noticed is that he does include a battle stand, but, you know, of course, as any of you out there that are schooled in, in this mold, uh, this is, uh, for those who aren't familiar, this is actually a, a quite old, um, I think it was originally a 2004 uh, Joe figure. It was... Uh, it, oh, we can zoom out a little bit, my mistake. It was originally the Valor vs. Venom Bat version 4. I think it was like V4, Bat V4. Yep, and unfortunately uh, he doesn't fit on his battle stand. That was what I was, yeah, before I got sidetracked it, and thank you, Madman. So anyway, aside from him not fitting on his battle stand, which couldn't be helped because he's from a different era. He, yeah. Well, he's mostly made up of that bat. He's got the um, armor from the, um, the I guess, the, the movie. Neo Viper. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the G.I. Joe. The Rise of Cobra. Exactly, exactly. And he's got some, uh, I guess, um, special attachments. Yeah, yeah. Th those are unique. Uh, we're not really sure where they were manufactured or how they were, how they were done, but anyway, there's that. So let's quickly move on to... Sorry about that. To the second, oh man, my favorite, I think. Uh, I gotta say, I think Retrofit here is my favorite. So he is described as an electronics engineer. 
So yeah, he's really he's really nice. Um, the goggles are just uh, they make it. Yeah, the, the goggles definitely. is what really does it. For him, yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, he's one of my favorites as well. I mean, just top to bottom, I just love the the pieces that were used to uh, put the figure together, and uh, I think it really shines. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I even think so too because, uh, in all honesty, uh, I'm not really crazy about those pieces, but it, it still works. I still really love it. So anyway, well, well, we can kind of explain what parts he's made yeah, out of, sure. I guess. And I'll let you take care of it because I know. I okay, okay. <laughs> well, if you if you want, um, so he is actually, if I'm not mistaken, he is using the entire. Is it the entire? Oh, no, almost the almost, entire right. body from the neck down, except for the thighs. He is, from what we could tell, he is utilizing the body of the um, of the Hiss Scout driver. So. There you have it, and I suspect that his goggles are actually a, a dyed pair of the goggles that were originally included with the um, with Ripcord from the uh, Renegades line. Yeah, that would seem like it. And here's a quick glance at the figure. Back and all. So okay, I'm looking at the time. We have got to get cracking. Yeah, and we'll move on. Here we go. Moving on to the Hate Scout Driver, code name. This is a damn good code name. Code name Traction. I got to tell you, I I really I really love that code name. They they really that it it's damn good. It, it's so good. I find it surprising that Hasbro never used it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, good p uh, mix and match of parts. Uh, I'm not crazy about the vest, but you know, I think it's yeah. it works overall. Yeah, sure. You know, and and you got to imagine that uh, they're, you know, the 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 um the Canadian Joe Club people, they they're making like over a 100 sets. So they they've got to be using pieces that are pretty plentiful. So well, he's pretty much made up of the Ashiko uh, figure. What's the figure? Uh, yeah, Hashiko. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Uh, the driver of the. Uh, yeah, I think that's his uh, lower legs and his head. Uh, the arms look to be from Rampage. The. Oh yeah, Rampage. Was yeah. It? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, upper legs are the his driver. And I didn't look at the torso underneath. No, we but... didn't bother. I don't think the Madman's gonna pry that vest <laughs> off him. These figures are kind of. You know. Yeah, and here's a quick look around at the figure. All right. Uh, why is he pointing at you? And actually, I like your pose. Madman uh, posed all of these. I had nothing to do with that. I actually, I actually like the poses. Really? I thought they were like lazy poses. Just to <laughs> quickly get into the, the 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 video here. So anyway, then we're looking at uh, probably is gonna is probably going to end up being one of the most popular figures in the set, I would guess, because of the character's popularity, is uh, Black Ice. So, just out of curiosity, let's look at what they refer to him as. Huh, Cobra North Commander. Yeah, I believe that's the... Uh, so he is actually, yeah, the, the leader of the uh, Canadian uh, branch of the Cobra organization. Yep, um, he's pretty much made up of the, the uh, I mean, just neck down from the, uh, yep, from the Neo Viper from the Rise of Cobra. Rise of Cobra Neo yep. Viper. Yep, um, I guess his uh, vest you know better because you're more yeah, familiar with Yeah, I'm, I'm more Joes. familiar with the, uh, the Joes that the Madman does not recognize fully as G.I. Joes, so I'm talking about it comes from good old spy troops from like uh, 2003. Yeah. So uh, and I believe the head is uh, custom casted. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's damn nice. It's a damn it nice is. Figure. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, you really got to give it to them. It, it is really nice. All right. So then, moving on to probably is gonna be probably it's gonna this the figure. only Joe in the set. Yes. Yeah, and the I tell you, it's uh, it's an important one too. Joe Canuck. Yeah, it looks like he's running and shooting, but yeah. So I, uh, yeah, this figure is pretty much made up neck down from uh, the uh, ripcord. Yeah, ripcord. Um, uh, Renegades ripcord, the brand new one, pretty much. Yep, and he's got a special head. I guess specially casted head. Yeah, yeah, and it it looks like the it kind of looks like the goggles are are a part of the mold, eh? The goggles yeah, are yeah. not separate. Well, the original head looks like it probably belonged to a beachhead uh, beach with head. a special yeah. pursuit of Cobra beachhead, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. But uh, it's it's damn nice. I mean, it's simple, but it's it's it works like one hundred percent. I yeah, think uh, it really does. It's it's, it's a nice, pleasant surprise. Actually, I wasn't sure at first how it would work, but. Seeing it in person, I think it's a, it's a great job. Yeah, and you know, I, I remember when this guy was revealed, I was really uh, pleasantly surprised to see that uh, the Canadian Jokon folks were actually starting to use uh, this new of, uh, of figure as, as a base. This is probably, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be like the newest uh, figure like yeah. mold-wise that they've utilized yeah. in, a, in a Canadian concept. Yeah, definitely. We'll put that back there. All and right. I guess the, and uh, now this is probably what most people are probably what most people watching this video are watching it for. Yeah, I guess the coup de gras. I guess you would call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. And you might have to zoom mm -hmm. out a little bit. I'm zoomed out as far as I yeah. can go. I'm just gonna move the camera back. Definitely. So you got and the Chrome Hate Scout. Hate Scout. And of course, because of the expensive nature of this uh i can understand the madman's uh hesitation yeah. reluctance of wanting to plug in the cannon to the back portion here well i may eventually but uh, i'm gonna put this oh, back in the box right yeah, now. yeah so. considering we're in yeah. toronto we gotta make our way home there so i'm gonna keep but it, it in, unassembled uh, for now yeah this is just really 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 nice piece here and i'm sure you know for the most part, I think you can't go wrong with chrome. Uh, <laughs> you know, the 2009 set had the uh, the first chrome piece, mm -hmm. which was just the chrome hiss, and this is sort of nice addition. The chrome to it. hate you mean? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. no, I hate you right now. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. So, uh, what's your thoughts on on this? Pretty much. Hmm. You know. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, a lot more than I was expecting to. I will really say that uh, in person, it's really it, it's impressive how much of a positive impact the the chrome application to the body has on a in my opinion really the the hate scout I mean the the hiss scout I'm talking about the original vehicle that this is based off of was not one of my favorite vehicles but I got to tell you the the chroming really really puts it over really I, I like it a whole lot more yeah and I think just overall the thoughts on the convention I mean uh, I mean I attend every year just to uh, pretty much see a lot of friends and support uh, all the folks that put these uh, I mean these great sets together every year it's a lot of uh, hard work from the mic oh, yeah. and everybody and you know it's just uh, I appreciate that work and I you know I support it every year I come down and uh, Thankfully, I haven't been able to uh, like miss one, but it's been great. See a lot of friends, find a lot of stuff in my collection, and you know, just uh, enjoy these great things. Yeah, I hope you never miss one because this <laughs> is this is a good setup we got going here. This uh, routine the Madman and I have going. So let's hope uh, it, it for the Madman. It's it's able to continue. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess that about wraps it all up, eh? Let's uh, we'll keep it as short as we can and wrap her up here, eh? I think. So let us know your thoughts. Yeah, sure. If any of you want to comment down below what you think of this set or have any questions about it, because uh, you know maybe some of you out there aren't too familiar with the whole Canadian JoeCon uh, exclusive sets. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. So. Well, all that being said, I guess uh, you want to say goodbye, Mr. Madman, or? Uh, well, I'll probably be around once in a while again, so. Oh, cool. Glad to hear it. This is, um, you guys are hearing it for the first time with me. I'm glad to hear the Madman say that. All right, so uh, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. This is uh, the Joe Nerd and? Madman. The Madman. Peace and, out. And we will talk to you in the very near future. Bye for now.